Hi everybody, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, this is episode 7, uh, I think. Whatever episode it is, we are back in Gaming Corp. Let's go, uh, right now. Now, there is construction going on outside of my house. I apologize if you can hear that. That's what I get for living in a development. And, oh yes, uh, everyone's dead. The post-apocalyptic RPG to gain us research points. I actually remember that. It wasn't that long in between sessions. I think I recorded episode 6 like 4 or 5 days ago, so it's not that bad. Uh, no, maybe like a week ago. I have no idea. It wasn't any more than a week ago, and I guarantee that. So, an RPG. Lots of dialogues. Uh, some AI, some level design. Pretty sure dialogue is very important in an RPG. Uh, because, much like, uh, the World of Warcraft games, I think you talk to a lot of people. Uh, although I'm not a big fan of those games. I don't, I couldn't really ever get into them. Uh, sound, quite a lot. Not a lot of graphics. Uh, world design is definitely the bomb.com right here. Uh, we need, we need world design for an RPG. And I'm sure of that. I, I hope that I'm sure of that. And by sure of that, I mean, I hope that I'm right on that. I'm sure that I think that. I'm not sure that it's right. Don't add any more bugs. Okay, there we go. New record on technology points. Nice. Thank you, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead is ready. Okay. I should name a game The Plague, and then it says The Plague is ready. Or, like, The Disease or something like that. No! The Chemical. Chemical X is ready. I could make one called Chemical X. Okay. Has its moments. Five from Star Games. Could have been better. Six from Informed Gamer. I like it. Six from Game Hero. Shows potential. Six from all games. Star Games, you are the worst. Okay? Uh, has Star Games ever been our best reviewer? I know they've been our worst reviewer a multitude of times. I'm not sure if they've ever been our best reviewer. Um... It'd be good if they were at some point, but then again, that means the other reviews would be worse, and I'd rather have just one negative person, or company, I guess. And let's wait. No, we were going to research crap, weren't we? Yeah, bunch of crap. The most crap. You can research that. We haven't profited any off this yet, but by now we should have, right? Yeah, so we've already profited off of everyone's dead. Um... You will research, that was it, medium games. And then we'll research level editor and marketing, I think, would be after that. If we have enough points and if time allows it. Uh, Post-apocalyptic RPG is a great combination. Dialogue seem to be very important. See, I told you. Platform genre match, uh, PC RPG, good. I believe that uh, PC is good or great for every single genre. Uh, mainly because PCs just, you know, is like the first console uh, platform, not a console, first platform really. Uh, and topic audience match, mature, post-apocalyptic, great. We will have to remember that stuff, but then again, we won't really have to remember it uh, because it shows us hints in the game with the Steam update, which I am loving. Uh, it's absolutely fabulous. Publishing contracts. Hi Richard, I have followed the progress of Gaming Corp for a while, and it seem that with your recent expansion you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. Publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers, so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Jasmine Droke. Fine publishing contract has been unlocked. It is accessible in the action menu. Okay. Well, big contracts, big money. There we go. Um, that's what it equals. Fine publishing deal. Using a pub publisher excuse me, is a great way to get your games in front of a large audience, which in turn helps to grow your fan base. Once your fan base is big enough, you can self-publish from your larger games without the need for a publisher. For medium games, you should aim to have at least 100,000 fans before you publish them yourself. 
To use a publisher, you need to sign a contract. The contract will dictate what game you need to create. Pay attention to all details. Most importantly, the minimum score that the contract dictates. Uh, the minimum score is um, like the game reviews, the average of all the game reviews put together. So like a five, you would need at least a five on average. You could get like threes and eights or something like that. Um, it's also important to pay attention to the royalties. Uh, the higher the rate, the more money you will make from the contract. Okay. A vampire RPG. Sounds interesting. The vampire RPG. Or any topic casual. I'm in... I'm totally in for any topics. I like those. They're the best contracts. Uh, no. No. But I don't want to spend too much money on a license, I guess. I'm not really sure how to do that one. I mean, it's not bad. It's I get to choose what topic it is. Um, I pay up front $90,000. That's not bad. Minimum score of six. I think we could do it. I think we could do this. Uh, yeah, we'll pay for a license, and then we'll pay uh, 80k. No, never mind. Uh, do I get a refund? I forgot kind of to make my new game engine that I was going to do because I didn't research anything. Should have done that before. Um, marketing, we don't need to do with medium games. We'll do that later, I guess. Gameplay and level editor and fill position. You can hire up to four employees in this office. Don't try to hire everyone at once as staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. It's best to take it slow. I know that. Sometimes it is best to take it fast, though. I mean, there are different approaches to the game, and I like to live life in the fast lane. And a lot of times, you know, you get hit by a truck that's going really, really fast because you're in the fast lane. And then you wake up in a hospital, and you're just sitting there playing Game Dev Tycoon, and you're making games called Everyone's Dead in fear that, uh, well, not in fear, actually, in, uh, in hopes that everyone else is dead and that you are the last survivor on Earth uh, because you despise humanity now because you were hit by that truck by of course a human driving um although it might have been a baboon and that's a different story and then that would be a post uh baboon apocalyptic everyone's dead game rpg and you are the um leader of the human race uh against uh for the war against baboons there is only one baboon left He's the lone survivor, and a twist on the story and the plot, this is all a dream, and eventually you wake up and you are that lone survivor baboon in the hospital, and everyone's staring at you, even the President Barack Obama is just staring at you, and uh, Joe Biden himself takes out a pistol and just shoots you in the face with a 45 cal, you know? That's obviously how the game works. Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes in life, you just that's what you get for living in the fast lane. I mean, I hope that's how my life goes. Really, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to have a dream like that. Wake up from it all, be a baboon, and go out with a bang like that. That would be incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. So, anyway, let's hire someone. <laughs> Jeez. That took forever. I don't, I'll, I'm going to edit that and, like, see how long that took. I might even put a, a title in the video, or not a title, uh, a caption in the video saying how long that was. If I remember at all, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, complex algorithms. I believe we need a tech person. No, we need a show real person. There we go. Just in time to go on vacation for Luke Aguilar. Aguiar? I don't know. Is that a Spanish name? I think it is, but it might have two L's if it's. I don't know. Everyone's Dead is now off the market. It sold 40,000 copies generating 285,000 in sales. I'm rounding wrongly. I know. It's incorrect. Uh, Samuel Poole. What a guy. Level 2. Um, Jared Griffin has less design than Samuel Poole, more technology. And Juan Ramsey. Okay, Samuel Poole has the best design. Um, and he has a faster speed by 22. So let's go with Samuel Poole. Uh, 19k per month, that is not bad, and we will train him with the staff welcome training. And uh, while everyone's feeling uncomfortable, sorry I was looking down there, that might be a little bit um, hard to hear there, uh, while everyone is feeling uh, incredibly uncomfortable, we will make a game engine. Wait, 
Wait. Hold on. Research. Wait, no. He needs to be sent on vacation. That's why he's feeling um, extraordinarily tired and uh, dysfunctional. You, in the meantime, no. No, me. Me, in the meantime, will um, research. Okay. Uh, law. Yeah. I, again, I've heard that you've been very successful in the gaming business and started, and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list, so if you're looking for some contract work, let me know. Medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Nice! We could do that. We could do that for research points, which we desperately needed a little bit ago, which is why we made a very uh, crappy game that barely made any profit at all. Uh, Dear Gaming Corp. The, by the way, the best corp of gaming. Uh, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet. Games, 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 also known as G3. Uh, by having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your game, and we think our audience would love to see you there. We will contract... Oh, contact. <laughs> Whoops. We will contact you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you at... G3, the G3 committee. G3 kind of sounds familiar. Not sure where that would be from uh, exactly. It is good to send people on vacation whenever um, whenever a new employee comes in because they go back to full rest, even if they wouldn't have been um, fully comfortable without... It, it just regenerates to full instead of where they would have been if you didn't send them on vacation. So it's good to send employees on vacation whenever you get a new employee. Okay drinking some grape juice. It's good stuff. Yeah, a little bit sour, but I like it. And is there anything else that we could research? No. We're good on research. We're done with research. We will create a custom game engine with better user experience, level editor. Uh, maybe we should make another game before we do that. And this new game will be a small game. And it will be... Um, it's gonna be a law simulator, and it's gonna be for everyone on the PC, because PCs love simulation, on the one cylinder, and it will be called, um, Lawyers, oh, we could have a law RPG called, uh, Lawyers Aren't That Bad. And then we could have it a law RPG. There we go. This is gonna be a terrible game. And just even the title's awful, because they are. I mean, I don't want to offend anybody, but it's just very stereotypical that people don't like lawyers. Uh, gameplay about half down. We'll put RPG, or not RPG, whatever that was on the right. We'll put that up more. I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, cause it'll be like, uh, 7 Z, I don't know. Decrypt message. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you are interested, then transfer 64,000 monetary units to the enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you, Agent Blowfish. No. No. Cause, uh, right now I am burning money like a wildfire. So, no. Uh, level design, yeah, yeah, right about there, and AI down a little bit more. Uh, dialogues are very important for an RPG, we learned that last time. By the way, that might uh, decrease our sales of this game, because we just released an RPG very, very, uh, not a long time ago. Graphics up a little bit, sound, eh, and okay. We'll wait for that to be done. Holy crap, $74,000 out the window per month. I think it was like 73.9 to be exact. Uh, and it's not even dollars. Green thingies. And gotta get some of that moaning, moaning. Yeah, we'll put up a small... Mm, well, I think it takes place a month from now. So... Yeah, we can make another game in that time. Let's go for it. Uh, get rid of those bugs. Okay, we're good. We're good. We set new record on design. I knew that because we just got a design specialist. 
I didn't even introduce myself to him. There we go. That's what I was waiting for to make a new Samuel Poole. Okay. Yeah, I do know his name. Never mind. Uh, these would be terrible reviews because they hate the title, of course. Wow! Wow! The Law RPG works really well.